Hello friends. Today we will discuss on the lesson types of electrochemical cell. We know electrochemical cell the device which converts chemical energy to electrical energy from chemical energy to electrical energy this is the main role of electrochemical cell it involves it involves electrochemical phenomena electro chemical phenomena Electrochemical phenomenon means that is redox reaction involves. In all electrochemical cell, the redox reaction takes place. That is oxidation and reduction reaction takes place. Half two half reaction takes place. One is oxidation, another is reduction. And the classification of electrochemical cell based on its uses and voltage produced from the cell and its uses. Important is its uses. Based on uses and production of voltage, electrochemical cell generally two types. It is generally Two types. First one is primary cell. Primary cell means non-rechargeable. Non-rechargeable. Cannot be recharged. That means you join through. Once it will be run down, when it, it function will be zero. That function less, that will be cannot be rechargeable. Voltage, zero voltage, it will be, it will form zero voltage. That means completely run down. That is primary cell. It cannot be reused. Secondary cell. Secondary cell. Main importance is can be rechargeable, rechargeable. This is the main difference between primary cell and secondary cell. Primary cell we will discuss, what are the examples of primary cell we will discuss today. Dry cell and mercury cell. These two cells we will discuss in primary cell. Secondary cell that is examples are so many examples here. Lead. Lead battery and nickel cadmium cell these two are the important secondary cell lead battery nickel cadmium cell and a primary cell is your dry cell and work cell other than this we are also we have so many types of other examples other examples of electrochemical cells are your fuel cells different types of fuel cells fuel cells are hydrogen oxygen cell Methanol, 
step eternal etc which produce energy due to combustion of due to combustion of or you can say due to oxidation reduction of the particular electrolytes then other examples where oxidation reduction reaction takes place these fuel cells are different types and on the basis of your redo electrochemical phenomena rusting of iron is also an examples of electrochemical phenomena electro chemical phenomena where oxidation reduction takes place so that iron gets oxidized to iron oxide we will discuss detail regarding this cells where chemical energy is converted to electrical energy let us first discuss primary cell primary cell primary cell is first primary cell that is dry cell before use of dry cell before discovery of dry cell same cell was named as leclan cell it was named as leclan cell it is also called as leclan cell that leclan cell is just modified form of dry cell is the modified form of leclan cell it is called wet cell in leclan cell direct solution is used liquid form but in a dry cell we are using dry electrolytes not liquid electrolytes electrolyte can be taken either in which form solution form or molten form but in dry cell almost in powder that is in solid form no liquid form is used in dry cell that's why it is called dry cell this is called wet cell both cell is same only difference is here aqueous medium is taken but here taken is in dry paste in the form of paste <clears throat> and this dry cell invented by karl gesner by karl gesner in 1886 Carl Gesner invented this dry cells, which is the one modified form of Leclan cell. What are the construction of dry cell? What are the requirements of dry cell? Cell means it has anode, cathode, and electrolyte. So, what is which is anode? Here, anode is. carbon that is graphite so anode is zinc anode is here zinc and cathode is your carbon that is graphite carbon or that is graphite Because we know graphite is a good conductor of electricity, 
that's a graphite is as cathode and zinc is as anode and electrolyte here electrolyte is a mixture of zinc chloride ammonium chloride and here carbon powder carbon powder and manganese dioxide both zinc chloride ammonium chloride carbon dust and manganese oxide is used it is taken not as one place here around carbon rod which acts as a cathode around carbon rod a paste of manganese oxide and carbon powder is taken around carbon rod then mixture of zinc chloride and ammonium chloride is taken so in different layer different composition is taken but all will take part in the reaction zinc chloride ammonium chloride carbon dust and manganese oxide is taken in the form of paste taken as a combined taken as paste as paste in form of different paste it is taken then how the reaction takes place what are the reactions reaction in dry cells in dry cell zinc gets oxidized here zinc solid gets oxidized to zinc ox uh, two plus ion in and two electron here zinc gets oxidized to zinc ion and your manganese oxide attached to graphite rod gets reduced this manganese oxide gets reduced zinc is oxidized another will be reduced here which part is reduced manganese dioxide is reduced in presence of ammonium ion that's why ammonium salt is used in presence of ammonium ion converted to oxides and hydroxide form of the manganese manganese oxide and manganese hydroxide form that means it exists in form of oxides and hydroxide form both combination oxide and hydroxide then ammonia gas will be formed Then, if you balance already, it is balanced. Four hydrogen already, three and one. Four hydrogen, oxygen two, oxygen two, manganese one. Everything is okay. But here, in left side one positive ion, right side no charge, so you add electron. So that your second reaction is balanced and first reaction also balanced. So to cancel the electron, here you multiply two in the second reaction so that. Electron left side, right side, right side and left side cancel. So what are the net reaction? Net reaction. Net reaction is Zn plus two MnO two plus two ammonia, two ammonium ion changes to. Zn two plus plus two MnOOH plus two ammonia. So this is the final reaction of dry cell. Here zinc is oxidized to zinc ion and manganese dioxide gets reduced to what? Manganese oxide. Here if you see the charge. Your manganese is plus four state. Your manganese is in plus three state. In plus three state, manganese has very good valency. 
it can convert plus 4 to plus 3 which is manganese that's why it gets reduced and your zinc 0 convert to plus 2 that is oxidized so one must be oxidized another should be reduced then the reaction takes place then transfer of electron takes place that is called the basic principle of electrochemical cell and here the voltage produced voltage produced is around 1.5 volts how much volt is produced by a dry cell is 1.5 volt is produced but in the market two types of dry cells are used one is very bigger one this type of cells are used bigger one thicker one another ordinary white also used what is the difference between this one and ordinary white battery difference is it is covered with steel container here better quality cover with steel container so that liquid will not be leakage there will be no leakage in this battery there will be no leakage but in white battery ordinary battery it will it will may be generally for long time it will so leakage and easily rusted the outer part will be easily rusted that's why it is better than that one but voltage is same how much 1.5 volt but the question is if the 1.5 volt is constant answer is no this 1.5 volt fluctuates voltage fluctuates voltage fluctuates fluctuates means changes not constant not constant voltage is not 1.5 from first to last if you measure the voltage produced by dry cell is not always 1.5 volt it may be decreased with time voltage cannot be remain constant because that is due to formation of ions due to formation of ions due to formation of ions voltage does not remain constant why dry cell does not maintain constant voltage due to formation of ions as the ions are produced in the reactions so if ions are available it can be polarized it can be depolarized it can be ionized it can be deionized that's why voltage can be decreased that's why it cannot maintain it does not maintain constant voltage so this is regarding your dry cells and the leakage of course because as the outer layer is zinc container it is made of zinc container it is acts as an anode and different paste is taken then at the center one graphite rod is used so when after long day what happens this container with this zinc container reacts with the ammonia gas in the solution so what happens zinc covering zinc reacts with ammonia gas forming this complex this complex ion is produced which due to formation this complex ion soluble water soluble complex ion resulting what the leakage of the container that's why the dry cell ordinary battery shows leakage but steel container 
the last part of the container again covering steel. That's why no liquid come out. That's why it is leakage proof battery. Leakage proof battery, this is the better quality. So this is regarding the dry cell. Next, we'll discuss another primary cell that is mercury cell. Mercury cell. This cell was discovered by Samuel Ruben. Mercury cell was discovered by Samuel Ruben. Samuel Ruben discovered mercury cell. In the year 1942. Long years back. So that is second cell is mercury cell. Mercury cell discovered by Samuel Ruben by Samuel Ruben in the year nineteen hundred forty two. What is the construction? Here, anode is anode is zinc amalgam. Anode is made of zinc amalgam and cathode. is your mercury oxide and carbon dust mixture of mercury oxide and carbon dust used as a what cathode this both combination used as a cathode and electrolyte these three things are necessary in the construction of cell anode cathode and electrolyte here you look like it's KOH or NOH. Around 35 to 40 percent. 35 to 40 percent by mass KOH. Neutralize and or cathode. Here the reaction is. How the reaction takes place, how it produces current, how it produces electron. Here, same zinc solid in presence of OH minus converted to zinc oxide. Here, the, in the first reaction, zinc gets oxidized to zinc oxide in presence of basic medium, alkaline medium. Zinc oxidized to zinc oxide in which medium? in basic medium and uh, here you see if you see the charge here zinc charge is 0 here zinc charge is 0 here zinc charge is plus 2 so add 2 electrons as right side 2 negative right side it has 2 negative so left side 1 negative you multiply 2 now, now two oxygen and two hydrogen left side, here one oxygen, you add water, then you see it becomes balanced. So this is the technique. Why we are adding two electrons? As zinc is zero, zinc plus two, so you add two electrons. So right side two negative, you add two H minus. Then you balance the hydrogen oxygen. So this is the oxidation reaction. Zinc converts zinc oxide by losing electron. 
Then second, here what happens? This mercury oxide takes part. In presence of same reaction, in presence of water, by giving two electrons, one to two, mercury and two H minus. Just opposite. Just opposite. Zinc gets oxygen to zinc oxide, your mercury oxide reduces to mercury. One is oxidation, another is reduction. Because loss of electron, you have gain of electron. That's why oxidation reduction takes place. Formation of zinc oxide and mercury. Here, if you are these two reactions, what is the result? Zinc plus HgO, OH minus OH minus cancel, and water, water cancel. What is left in the right side? ZnO plus H2. Here, if you see the total reaction, no ions is formed. No ions are produced in the overall reaction. That's why it maintains constant voltage. Constant voltage obtained. How much? How much that was? How much? 1.35 volt. 1.35 volt is maintained by mercury. Mercury it has different shape. That is, this cell is also called bottom cell. This is also called as bottom cell. Just like a bottom, you see, I have brought a small mercury cell. Very small mercury cell. It can be used as a large. Very small mercury cell. Okay? It can be used. It can be taken a large size. Mercury cell. And it is called bottom cell because cell is just like a bottom. And this is the final reaction. Voltage is 1.3. It is a commentary constant voltage. Because what is the answer? Because no ions are produced. As no ions are produced in the whole reaction, that's why maintain constant voltage. Okay. Then this is about regarding the primary cell, then uses. Uses. Uses of dry cell. That dry cell we already we have, I have shown you already this is a dry cell. You know it is huge. It is used in transistor. Plus light. Torch light. Transistor, flashlight, torch light, camera, pencil. Camera. Okay. Transistor means radio. It is also called radio. Transistor is also other name is radio. So in transistor, flashlight, torch light, camera, we, where we can use which one? Dry cells. Mercury cell uses of mercury cell because this in the board class, in class 12 CBS examination, the uses of cell is asking. Mercury cell already know use for calculator, toilets, watch, hand watch, calculator, toy, watch. So in different types of device, different types of instruments, it is huge. Okay? So this is about your another from Mercury cell in your uh, uh, hearing aids. Hearing aids. 
it is also Merkel cells. Because it maintains constant voltage. That's why we have to use this one. This is regarding primary cell. Then we will discuss the next that is secondary cell. Second type of electrochemical cell that is secondary cell. Secondary cell Secondary cell generally Two we we'll use, we'll discuss here First one is a lead battery Second one is your nickel cadmium cell. These two cells are secondary cells where it can be rechargeable. Already discussed. So let us take first lead battery. In lead battery, anode is PD, cathode is PBO2 electrolyte or uh, sulfuric acid solution, aqueous sulfuric acid. How much? That is 38% by mass. The sulfuric acid is used, the concentrated sulfuric acid is used in dilution form, that is 38%. And this cell was discovered by Gaston Plantec by Gaston Plantec Gaston Plantec in the year 1859 1859 discovered by Gaston Plantec now it is very much use for us. We will discuss this thing. So, this is anode, this is cathode, this is electrolyte. Only PB, PBO2, and sulfur acid. It is somewhat heavy because the plate of lead plate and PBO2 plate is very heavy. That's why this type of cell is generally heavy. Weight is much more. What is the reaction? What type of reaction takes place? Here reactions in case of anode what happens? PB in presence of sulfate ion converted to PBSO4 and produce two electrons. It is balanced. It is PB1, sulfate 1, 2 minus 2 electrons. Clear? Then in the, this is in anode, this is the reaction of at anode. In cathode, PbO2, same presence of sulfate ion, converted to same PbSO4. You see, as O2, 2 atoms you are there. So, oxygen is balanced. As it has 2, 4 hydrogen, you are 4H+. plus. So, how much electron will be used? Here two electrons to balance because two electron two minus four and four H plus balance right side no charge so now you add this two equation two electron here two electron cancel and what is left what is left in the reaction here PB plus PBO2 plus two sulfate ion plus 4H plus converted to 2 PbSO4 
वन इन ऑक्सीडेशन आना देने रिडक्शन प्लस टू आर सो दिस इज योर व्हाट फाइनल रिएक्शन ऑफ दी सेल हियर इट मेंटेन इट मेंटेन वोल्टेज आराम टू वोल्ट टू वोल्ट बेटे दैट मींस वन सिंगल सेल प्रोड्यूस सिंगल सेल प्रोड्यूस टू वोल्ट आराम टू वोल्ट एज इट इज रिचार्जेबल एज इट इज ए सेकेंडरी सेल इट कैन बी रिचार्जेबल ऑल आर प्रोड्यूस डीसी करेंट एज इज ए इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सेल it gives it produces dc current and to convert which one ah uh, when you run down it can recharge so recharge reaction is just opposite recharge reaction recharge reaction it is just opposite to pb so for in presence of two water decompose by electricity charging produce charging this discharging result due to formation of voltage it produce electron and recharging also required electricity by the help of electricity it decompose to again pbo plus pbo2 Plus 2 SO4 minus plus 4 H plus same just opposite. This is recharge when battery will be recharge. This reaction takes place. But when the it function when it show the reaction when it produce current the reaction is like this. So this is about the what reaction of lead battery uses. What are the uses? You just already know vehicle battery, vehicle battery, car, truck, four wheeler, two wheeler battery. That is your lead battery, and also that uh, inverter, car inverter battery, inverter battery. We know inverter we are using a required battery. That battery is a lead battery. It is very heavy because lead mass is weight is more and lead oxide. That's why it is heavy. And also another thing we are using sulfuric acid. As we are using sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid is heavier. That's why its weight is more. So this is regarding your lead battery. Then. मर्कुरी निकल टाइम से निकल कार्मियम से ये निकल कार्मियम से निकल कार्मियम से दिस सेल वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय वाइल्डमर जंगनाथ डिस्कवर्ड बाय वाइडमार जंगनाथ इन दर एटीन हंड्रेड नाइंटी नाइन एटीन हंड्रेड नाइंटी नाइन वाइडमैन 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 वाइट मैन जंगना एटीन हंड्रेड नाइनटी नाइन हियर अंगोड इज योर कैडमियम एंड कैथोड इज योर निकेल डाइऑक्साइड कैथोड इज निकेल ऑक्साइड अंगोड इज कैडमियम एंड इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सेम पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज एज ए इलेक्ट्रोलाइट व्हाट इज द रिएक्शन 
reactions are cadmium in presence of OH minus converted to cadmium hydroxide. Multiply two here, then you are two here to balance this is the oxidation reaction. Then nickel oxide converted to nickel hydroxide. Two water. So sorry. Here four OH minus. Here just you see, as nickel charge is plus 4, here nickel charge is plus 2, you are 2 electron. Here, as nickel charge is plus 4, here nickel charge is plus 2, you are 2 electron. Then 2, here write 2 H minus. 2 negative, 2 negative. Balance. Here, hydrogen how much? Hydrogen, here 2 hydrogen to 4 hydrogen, you are 4 water. Now, oxygen becomes 2, 2, 4, 4, 2, 4, you can just, uh, hydrogen how much, hydrogen 4, 4, hydrogen 8 here, sorry, 2, 2 hydrogen, not 4, 2 hydrogen, so 2H2O, 2H2O means here, 4 hydrogen, here 2 hydrogen, 2 hydrogen, 4 hydrogen, Oxygen, 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen, 4 oxygen, 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen, 4 oxygen. So it is now balanced. Now you add it. What is the final? CD, 2 water, sorry, 2 water remains same. Here 2H minus, 2H minus cancel, 2 electron, 2 electron cancel. What is it? CD plus NiO2 plus 2H2O convert to CD. OH hold 2 plus nickel OH hold 2 nickel hydroxide. So, this is the final equation of nickel. Here, the voltage is how much voltage produced? Voltage take up around 1.2 volt. Voltage is 1.2 volt. Okay. And it is maintained also constant voltage. But it is somewhat costlier. Which one? Nickel cadmium cell is more costlier than your lead battery. In compared to lead battery, it is more costlier. And the thing, this battery also not good for environment because it may cause environmental pollution due to nickel cadmium. Nickel cadmium, nickel hydroxide, cadmium hydroxide produce. So, it is also not good for environment, but it can be used because it is not heavier compared to lead battery. It is lighter than lead battery and also it produces constant voltage. This is also advantage. Lighter and durability is more. This battery more durable. Where you just, where you are using laptop battery, laptop battery, and also headphone, So, this is your use of nickel cadmium cell. Other than these four cells, dry cell, mercury cell, lead battery and nickel cadmium, we are using other cell that is for the production of energy that is fuel cell. Fuel cell.
12 cells. Different types of 12 cells are used. 12 cells. Generally, we are using hydrogen oxygen cell. Hydrogen oxygen cell. Methanol cell, ethanol cell also can be used. Different types of fuel cell where it produces energy. One important cell, fuel cell is hydrogen oxygen cell. Here anode is carbon, that is graphite, cathode, graphite, anode. Anode is carbon, cathode is carbon, and electrolyte is KOH. 50% solution, around 50%. It depends upon the concentration of KOH, depends upon temperature, how much temperature we are using. Anyway, then what is the reaction? Here the reaction is said hydrogen is taken. If you see the diagram, actually it is the rod taken as a porous plate. Porous, porous plate is used. Then it is separated by this one. Your hydrogen gas is passed, your oxygen gas is passed, your both solution is KOH, here also 10 and is KOH. It is the separation, these two solutions separated by graphite plate, porous. So this solution, through this plate solution, ions can be passed. And it produce water also. It will produce water. Finally, result is water. How the reaction takes place? Your hydrogen in presence of OH minus convert to water. You balance it, multiply to, multiply to, then two electrons. Only you have to check the electron. So this step is oxidation step. In case of reduction, what happens? Oxygen in presence of water convert to OH minus. Here oxygen will be convert to hydroxide. Here hydrogen convert to water and oxygen will convert to hydroxide. This is the difference. It is reduction. It is oxidation. If you balance, you multiply 4, you multiply 2 here. And how many electron? Here, 4 electron. Because right side 4 minus 4 electron left side. Now, this equation multiplied by 2. So, 4 electron, 4 electron cancel and add. So, 2H2, finally the reaction is 2H2 plus O2 changes to here 2 water, here 4 water. Product is 2 water. Left side. 2 water, right side 2 and 2, 4 water. Remaining 2 water. This is the final reaction. Hydrogen, that means hydrogen undergo combustion with oxygen producing water. So that's what is called fuel cell. That means indirectly hydrogen is burning in presence of oxygen, forming water and produce electricity. That's what is called fuel cell. And their efficiency is 70%. Efficiency is seventy percent and pollution free. Pollution free also. Which one? This fuel cell is pollution free because only water is produced. And this cell was first used in satellite made by the Rus. 
and this cell, this cell coil cell was discovered by William Robert Hooke by William Robert Group in the year eighteen hundred thirty nine. William Robert Group. So this is the final reaction of coil cell. The last part of that is electrochemical phenomenon that already we know in our day to day life. We are facing the problem that is rusting of iron. That is also electrochemical phenomenon. Rusting of iron. That is also an electrochemical phenomenon. How iron is rusted? What type of reaction takes place in the surface of iron? We we'll discuss rusting of iron. This is the last part of this chapter. Rusting of iron. Rusting. Rusting means corrosion of iron. Here, this is a chemical, electrochemical phenomenon. Here, anode is iron. Iron itself uses the anode. The pure iron uses the anode, and the cathode is impurity. Impurity means carbon, maybe carbon, maybe carbon, other metals, low reactive metals, not high reactive, low reactive compared to iron. So, anode is iron and impurity is cathode. And electrolyte, that is also required. Electrolyte your moisture, acidic water. That H plus ion present acid. So this is the electrolyte. That means acidic moisture. You can write acidic moisture. Acts as a acidic medium because rusting takes place in acidic medium. Moisture and H plus. Where H plus is produced? H plus produced from atmosphere. Acidic gases, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, like this, nitrogen dioxide. So that H plus produced from where oxides of carbon, sulfur, nitrogen it produces H plus. So H plus and moisture become acidic. What is the reaction on the surface of iron? How iron gets rusted? Here what happens? First iron gets oxidized to iron iron. As iron will oxidize, the tendency to lose electron of iron is more. So easily iron gets oxidized. Then oxygen in the atmosphere, oxygen is necessary. Oxygen in the atmosphere, in presence of acidic acid, that is H plus ion, oxygen in acidic medium gets converted to water. This is very important reaction. Oxygen in presence of acidic medium gets reduced to what? This is reduction. This is oxidation. One oxidation, other is reduction. Which is oxidation? Which is reduction? You have to remember. Then if you balance it, then you multiply two your two oxygen, two multiply four hydrogen, then four H plus. Now four H plus. Then remaining you add four electron. So 4H plus you can write like this. 4H plus then 4 electron balance. 4 hydrogen, 4 hydrogen, 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen. Then you are under panel. You multiply 2 here. Then you can cancel. Then are 2Fe plus oxygen plus 4H plus changes to 2Fe2 plus plus 2 or something. This is the final reaction of iron changes to ferrous iron. First, iron gets oxidized to ferrous iron. But ferrous iron is very sensitive to oxygen because easily oxidized. Then what happens? 
In the second step, that ferrous ion produced on the surface of iron, this ferrous ion will again con come in contact with oxygen and moisture, both will again come in contact with oxygen and water, then it gets oxidized to ferric oxide, f 2 o the x -water. That oxide produced from ferrous will be hydrated, remaining a hydrated salt. That hydrated salt. Salt, salt of hydration. Crystallization form, that is called hydrated salt. That is called rust. It is rust. So, what is the formula of rust? Fe2O3 does XS2. Why it an X? X is not fixed. The number of water molecule attached to ferric oxide is not fixed. That is a written X. Because hydrated it may contain 5 water, 6 water molecule, that's why it is not fixed. But so finally, ferrous ion, first ion gets oxidized to ferrous ion, then ferrous ion again oxidized by oxygen and moisture convert to hydrated ferric oxide. That is rust. So this is the electrochemical phenomenon takes place on the surface of iron. That is, iron becomes rust. And how can you protect the rusting of iron already you know? by applying paint, oil, <coughs> by electroplating, galvanization, already we have read in junior classes. So this is regarding the types of electrochemical cell. Thank you.